Okay, what I have here is uh, some breeding tilapia. You can see uh, there's quite a few different sizes and slight color variations between each one. Now they're uh, a couple inches long. The super male has more of a uh, reddish appearance. You can see him right here. Now he's actually a YY super male, so he has two Y chromosomes instead of a Y and an X. Now because of that, all of his offspring will be male. They'll either be XY or YY. Now they make this special uh, type of tilapia breed um, genetically engineered so that way they don't have to treat them with hormones um, because typically male uh, tilapia grow much faster than female tilapia and because of that um, they treat them with a special hormone when they're when they're fry and very young that uh, basically make them all have uh, the sexual characteristics of a male but in this case because uh, you know the offspring of this particular male are all males, they grow much faster than, uh, you know, than, than normal. So that works out really well. Now the reason we have the uh, tank set up the way we do, you can see we actually have uh, air stones in the back and they're being held in place, uh, they're weighted with sockets just because it's easy and convenient. The uh, dissolved oxygen in the water is nice and high. You can see that on the bottom we don't have anything. That's because when the females are actually uh, holding their brood in their mouth, they won't, uh, they'll spit them out into the bottom and they'll be able to pick them up and find them easier than if there was gravel. Now the uh, large uh, black pot here is actually for the male to make his nest and then uh, these smaller green PVC pieces which are 4 inch PVC are actually for the females to hide inside um, when they're not in the mood to mate. Now right now I'm getting ready to cull out, I've got some extra fish in here. I'm going to cut it down to basically the one YY super male and uh, seven females that uh, he'll breed with. If you only go one male to one female, they'll fight and they'll eventually, uh, you know, kind of bite their lip off actually. And if you leave any other males in the tank, they'll fight until there's a major problem. Now I have a couple, uh, you know, just plecos and random fish that I use just to help keep it clean. And this orange one here I have just because I left them in. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> We're gonna get, uh, you know, hopefully the fish breeding in the next month or two. And ultimately, when they reach full size, they'll be about uh, a pound and a half each. Again, this tank is used for breeding, and then the other system I have down in the basement is for the major grow-out.